Hi, I'm Sarah Hennessy, the Director of Inclusion for the Hockamock Area YMCA. I'm excited to introduce the next episode in our 50th anniversary series. This episode will be highlighting the Integration Initiative. The Integration Initiative began in 2004, delivering recreational opportunities for our members with disabilities and special needs. Through this initiative, we have worked with over 1,400 members and their families, providing supports and youth programs, summer camp, childcare, and providing innovative programming for teens and adults. In October, we hosted our annual Legends Golf Classic at TPC Boston in Norton. This episode shows the fun that was had that day by our participants, sponsors, and local sports legends while providing the supports for ongoing programming. Thanks for watching. Lori, how has the integration initiative at the Hockamock Area YMCA made an impact in Matt's life? It has made a huge impact in his life. It has made it so he has a community, he has a place that he can go that feels like home, and he has so many friendships that he's made from here. Not only an impact on his life, how about your life as well? Huge impact on my life. Um, I started as a volunteer with the Integration Initiative and now I am the Inclusion Specialist for Teens and Adults with the Hockamock YMCA. It is probably one of the best things I've ever done. Are there any words or phrases you would use to describe the initiative and why would you use those words? Family. It is such a close-knit family and these guys cheer each other on and they are always here for each other so it was they're a huge family. Do you remember Matt's first day in the integration initiative? I do. He started with flag football and it was after he couldn't compete in any sports for over five years. So they welcomed him in and they um, gave him an opportunity to play a sport he'd been missing playing for five years. How much has it helped him grow? Exponentially. Like he's just made huge leaps and bounds um, just having the support of the program. Let me step in front of you for one second yeah, to course. talk to this tall guy right here. Uh, Matt, what do you love about this experience? Um, what I like about it is that I get to have these many different kinds of opportunities that I have now and getting to spend so much time with all my friends as well. How many friends have you made? It seems like you've made a ton. I've made so many friends. Friends, uh, like I have a lot of friends from so many different places. That's the best I can say about it. Let me ask you this one final question. Someone's watching us on TV right now, and they say, eh, I'm not sure if I should get involved. Should they get involved? In the program? Yes. Yes, I really think that they should, because like my mom said, said, we are like a family here, and we support each other, we cheer each other on, so I think, think uh, this is the best place for them to go, you know, to get these kinds of uh, opportunities like, like, like these. Matt, great job. Laurie, uh, saw you watching your son. A lot of pride there. I am so proud of him. He is such a special individual and he's just one of the participants that make our program amazing. And I'm sure one or two times in his life, there were people who talked about what he can't do as opposed to what he can do. Oh yeah, yeah. as a parent, you find a lot of people tell you what the limitations are. We don't see limits here. You know, we see the potential of where they can be and then we help guide them to get them there. So Butch, why is it important for you to be out here today, especially with the integration initiative? So um, I'll give you a two part answer. One is, unfortunately, my dad was killed by a drunk driver in 1987. And we've had a fundraiser in my hometown for him and his memory for 30 years. And we've helped out local families. And about 15 years ago, maybe a little less, Pete Brock asked me to get involved here. So it means everything to me to be able to see these kids grow up, see all the money we raise and how the money goes to changing their lives and changing the lives of everybody in the community because they've watched these kids grow up. The integration initiative program is so amazing because it does 
exactly what a title says. It integrates them into the community. They're not put in a room. They're not put behind the red velvet ropes. They're involved with everything that goes on. So for me personally, to watch these kids grow up and see the young men and women that they've become is, I'll do this every day if they wanted to do it. Even in this weather? Yeah, who cares about the weather? Who cares? It's just a bonus. Peter, you've been involved with the Hockamock Area YMCA for a long time. Why is a day like today special for you? Because we're raising funds for the initiative that we started so many years ago, you know, and it started with the Legends Ball. It started as an idea uh, from Ed Hurley, and he happened to have my cell number, and so it included me then. And and uh, he brought this idea, um, you know, to the Hockamock area YMCA, and it's uh, the the uh, integration initiative is so special to me because it's. My, my, my brother, I have a brother Joe who's special needs and it's my way of giving back to all the people that helped him. He had nothing to do with the Hockamock YMCA. I live here, he lives in Oregon, but uh, it's my way of, of thanking the people that helped my brother Joe. You are being too modest when talking about the origins of the Legends Ball. I seem to remember you being one of the key leaders to make sure the other players and former players got involved. I certainly called the guys that owed me favors, that's for sure, and, and got them got him involved. And now it's now everybody looks forward to it. You know, every November they know what's going to happen, and, and uh, I think people really do look forward to this. What's it like driving around? You come off a hole, and there's kids there to meet you at the next hole. Uh, it is fun, and, you know, especially at the first hole. They're all lined up there, you know, practice putting and, and all, and... You know, it's, uh, it's it's fun to watch, too, because I've seen a lot of these kids now grow into adults and, and uh, through my time here at, 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 the, at the Y, and it's been uh, it's been very fulfilling. How are you playing? Not well, not, but I didn't expect to play well, so I'm having fun with my group, and they're very forgiving and have a sense of humor, and so we're all having fun. Important to note, you're a former New England Patriot, not a former member of the PGA Tour, That's correct? true, that's true. I have I've never been accused of being a golfer, <laughs> <laughs> believe me. Thank, Thank you. you. Ed, uh, take us back to the beginning of the integration initiative. How did it come about? We were approached many years ago by a woman who wanted her child to be able to participate at the YMCA and her child was autistic and uh, my dear friend um, Tony Calcia was meeting with her and said oh yeah we can make that happen and she said no you can't it doesn't work so long story short we worked with the local schools in North Attleboro developed a pilot program of how we could integrate children with special needs and their families into our YMCA and so they could participate in virtually any program with their typically developing peers. And it started that simply, and it has just grown over the years to you know, programs like this, like creating a golf team because of our partnership with TPC Boston, that these young men and women got to experience golf, developed a love of the game of golf, but we have just impacted so many lives um, by doing this and just being there and making sure, like our mission is, to be open for all, regardless of your abilities, and I'm so proud of this program and, and the families we've been able to serve. And to see so many New England sports legends here with us again this year, um, supporting it because they believe in it, they love what we're doing, and they can see that they're having an impact when they meet the young men and women you know, on the first tee today. Why should families watching this get involved? I think each, I would hope families would get involved because they would feel good about what they would see and they would get to meet these amazing young people, their families, and whether they want to volunteer, they yeah. want to support our YMCA financially, because events like this, all the monies that we use to, to support the new and innovative things we're doing for families with special needs children, it's made possible by this. So if you want to see something in action and see what the mission of our YMCA is really all about, Integration Initiative would be an unbelievable door to walk into to get to see the Hockamock Area YMCA and how we're working in our communities to make a difference. Why did you get involved in the integration initiative? What motivates you to come back for this every year? Well, I studied and had my degree in special education and love working with special ed kids and adults. And it's truly one of the most rewarding things you can ever do. I had a cousin that had special needs and he was my number one fan. Unfortunately, he is not with us anymore. He was older than me, but uh, 
He, uh, every team I played for, he had to have my jersey. We had the same last name, and the uh, the smile on his face just, you know, just sends those uh, thrills through your body. I know the kids get excited to see the legends. I know you well enough to know that you're just as excited to see them. Oh, yes. Come out here and see the smiles on their face and, you know, have some of them uh, swing for me because they probably get hit better than me at times. And, you know, uh, being able to uh, do that and know that uh, they're out here and having a great time and, you know, go tell their friends and at the Y and, you know, what they did today, the special day they had today. And, you know, coming out here and having fun, and, you know, seeing uh, the families and what they go through on a daily basis is not easy. And uh, myself and my wife, and we, we know personally. Uh, having family uh, that had to deal with it and you know knowing these families and what they go through on a daily basis is not always easy. What made you get involved in the integration initiative and what motivates you to continue supporting this program every year? Oh, that, that's, that's an easy question. Uh, uh, getting involved with this organization. First of all, all the things that the YMCA does is just fantastic, really and truly. All the uh, programs. Uh, but this is special, it really and truly is. Um, in my opinion, this is America. Everybody, everybody deserves a chance to be on the table uh, at the same time. And these folks here, just as much as anybody else. Uh, I love this golf tournament. I love being involved with the integration program uh, because of the good it does for the kids and the young people. Uh, and additionally, to the parents. The parents are so delighted to have this program uh, uh, for their children. And what's more important in life? than our own kids. So uh, we're tickled silly to do it, and a pot of honeydew donuts will always be part of uh, the integration program. From what I have observed of the kids today, it seems to be one big family. Yeah, it really is, and truly is, and the kids are so happy uh, and delighted and to be making putts and to, to talking with us and everything else. And uh, the, uh, the celebrities that are all here, are wonderful people. Especially on a day like today, it was supposed to be bad weather. But everybody showed up, and, uh, and all the sponsors and all the golfers, too, uh, here for this specific reason. This is, this is a Monday, a very busy business week, uh, but people have put aside their, um, their own uh, obligations to come here and make this happen. And uh, I'm very proud to be part of it, I'll be very honest with you. Speaking of golf, we don't have video of it, but I was driving by the 16th green and I saw you chip and I want to know, I want you to know I had the same chip two weeks ago. I sculled it into the water. You put it into the car. I don't know how that happened. I have to tell you, but it, it did. You close your eyes and you swing the club and God knows what's going to happen. But at that particular time, that worked out pretty good. My teammates are pretty happy. Up until that point, they've been carrying me, but that was a pretty good shot. We talked about the kids and all the fun they have. You seem to be having a lot of fun, even though we're standing in the rain. Oh, we're having a blast. A day like today, I'll be honest with you, it's more fun than in the middle of July when everything is uh, hot and warm and all that kind of thing, and people are drinking 40 bottles of water just to stay hydrated. This is a fun day. It really and truly is. The golf course is beautiful. The colors are gorgeous. Uh, thank you for the club to be donating the, the club to this, uh, to this uh, cause. And uh, just everybody's delighted. It really is. It's a fun day. It feels like Thanksgiving, if you know what I mean, with all the parents and the kids and the golfers and the celebrities. It's pretty cool. Kevin, what made you get involved in the integration initiative, and what motivates you to continue to support the program? Uh, I think Ed Hurley first asked me, and I got involved and just had a great time and ended up uh, getting a couple uh, guys and put a foursome together and it's just a great cause and we love helping the uh, initiative program and doing their work and helping the kids out. Let's be honest, you're paired with Joe Andrewsy. Joe is not a natural golfer. No he's not, he's a handful. Uh, it's a good time though. He uh, He's more fun uh, going to the green and leaving the green and putting and stuff than his actual shots. It's a good time. So is this one of those events that as soon as you find the date, you circle it on your calendar? Pretty much. It's almost like a guaranteed we do one or two foursomes. And uh, the second foursomes behind us that are playing, and they're having a great time. And when you get a chance to meet the kids, what's that like? Oh, it's a great, great uh, time. Um, I think it was Chris that took uh, my club a couple holes ago and took my swing. And it, it was a good time.
Sheila, you're not only a volunteer here today, but you're actually the coach of the Hockamock Area YMCA golf team. Tell us about that. Well, it's just been a wonderful experience. I just picked up golf myself a few years ago and um, was working at the Y and knew about they were just starting up a golf team and really wanted to get involved. And I've worked with uh, children with special needs my whole career. So I thought this was a great opportunity to blend two of my real passions in life. So we started the, the uh, go- started up the golf team and now it's just in full force and uh, we have wait lists for kids to participate and we're teaching a life skill. These kids have learned to play and they can go on vacation with their families now and go out and play golf and you know really participate in a wonderful event uh, that's really suitable for all skill levels. So it's worked out really really well for me and for the kids. Now, a golf team, do, do they play in matches? Do they just come out and play for fun? H- how does that work? Uh, our part, the YMCA's part, is more instructional. Okay. Uh, so we do practices, but then we also participate in Special Olympics golf, which is competitive. Okay. So they actually do get to play in tournaments and get to achieve at certain levels. We have um, the gold medalist female individual golfer for the state of Massachusetts on our team so we feel very very lucky about that and uh, our kids do really really well when they go into competition Uh, but it comes from a solid base of just practicing learning every week you know we go out with them and let them just play the game state champion golfer is it the golfer or is it the coach oh no it's the golfer <laughs> it's the golfer she i think she can out drive me and out putt me and probably if we, she and i had a match together she'd probably win <laughs> someone watching this why should they get involved with the integration initiative well because it's you have to do that I mean these kids deserve to be in our community and participate fully in life and in all of the opportunities that our community has to offer and so why not it's perfect it, we owe them that so tell me what do you love about the YMCA well I love I love the friends over there I love having the best YMCA ever I enjoy doing events and I love seeing people over there, get to know friends and get to know people. I just feel honored and happy to be staying here with my golf team and I'm just very honored. Thank you very much. So are you one of the stars of the golf team? Uh, yes, I do. I, I do pedal and I do drive. I do a lot of that, but my family is doing awesome, but I used to do, do golfing with my dad, so thank you. Jim, we've heard from Ed about the integration initiative, how it got started. How about the future? What excites you about the future? What excites me about the future of integration is that it's ever-changing. Whatever the needs are, of the integration kids uh, and quite frankly adults now because it's been so long since we started this program is what's next you know we started a golf program a couple years ago we started a soccer program a year ago we're doing some VIP club programming some social type programming we're doing bocce club and there's just honestly it's really what these kids and young adults need is what we're gonna do and in the end it's all about the relationships that they build with each other and the support that they get and it's not just the kids and the young adults it's the families and so where we go from here is really hard to say it really depends on what their needs are and where they want to go with the program tell us about the legends ball an annual event yeah so we have legends ball coming up next month and we're really excited about that where you know we're going to have probably about 650 700 people get together to really support their program we're super happy about the legends being there and the support we get from the the crafts and from the uh the new england patriots foundation and all the athletes Um, but really the the sponsors and the foundations that help us to make this program happen is really what it's all about and it's it's a great evening It's, it's a great evening to see we call the legends but they're sports legends but it's also the kids are the legends when they come out and they get to spend time uh, with these uh, former athletes and current athletes uh, and just celebrate the program and at the same time raise dollars that are critically needed to keep that program going and, and expanding. Someone's watching this. How can they get involved not only this year but in the future? 
Yeah, there's plenty of opportunities to get involved in integration, either by sponsoring programs, uh, through helping with fundraising, through honestly volunteering your time and energy to be part of the program. Um, we, we have a lot of opportunities for the actual events themselves to volunteer at the events, uh, whether it's helping with registration or just being there to help with the kids. So there's a lot of different ways. If you reach out to us, we'll set you up with what is the best fit for you uh, and your family.